Can the wall thickness affect to the lifespan of a drip line? Of course, wall thickness will not be the only parameter that determines the lifespan of a drip line, but it will play a major role. I will introduce you to the most common thickness for drip lines on the market and how it affects to our irrigation system. We can identify three main thickness ranges that are thick wall, medium thickness and thin wall. Thick wall are all the drip lines that have 0.9 mm or more. This is what we call multi-seasonal drip lines and with a proper management of the system they can stay on the land for more than 15 years with no issues. They come in regular coils with no carton. In medium thickness, we can include all the drip lines that have 0.4 mm up to 0.8 mm. They usually come in carton coils and pallets to optimize the transport. And they also have a medium lifespan, something between 7 and 10 years more or less, depending of course on the management of the system. In thin wall, we can include all the drip lines that have between 0.15 up to 0.30 mm. They also come in carton coils and pallets and you can fit millions of meters of two strip lines in one truck or one container. They are specially designed to stay on the land for only one season. As you can imagine, thick wall will be the most expensive one. But believe me, if you plan in long term, thick wall will be the most competitive choice price-wise. I always like to explain it with the same comparison, and I'm pretty sure you will never forget it. You only need to imagine a drip line as a car. The pipe is the car itself, and the dripper is the engine. You can never install a Ferrari engine in a cheap car, or vice versa, it will never work. That way, if you have a pipe that is designed to stay on the land for more than 15 years, you will need a dripper also decided to stay on the land for more than 15 years. If you want more information about the irrigation system, don't forget to visit our website and connect with me on LinkedIn.